Hey you guys, I'm Brooke and I'm going to show you how I made my Kagune from Tokyo Ghoul. Um, this is uh, Kaneki's or Rize's Kagune. And the great thing about these is that you can pretty much make them whatever shape you want. Um, they look different at different parts. I'm not in the bathroom or anything. That's... no. And you can get your uh, supplies from Home Depot, Michael's Arts and Crafts. That's the only other places I think I needed to go for this. So um, if nothing is too difficult to do, it is just very time consuming. So make sure you save a lot of time between when you start your Kagane and when you need them at a convention or whatever. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your PVC pipe and heat it up with your heat gun. Um, make it whatever shape you like the Kagune to be and this will be your skeleton for the whole design. Once you have the shape you want, you can take your film and slip it over top of the pipe. Throughout the process, I used my mannequin to use as a reference to make sure everything was the size and shape that I wanted it to be. Now we're going to take great stuff. You can get this also at Home Depot. And you're going to cover everything that you want to be a different thickness. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect because later we're going to take a Dremel tool and shave everything down. Once you let everything dry, now it's time to shave it down to the size and shape that you want. But first, safety kids, cover your face, cover your mouth, because this shit gets everywhere. Can I just point out how freaking cool I look? Like, I look like a, a desert thief. Uh, yeah, and use a sheet, I don't know, use, do it outside if you're smart. It it takes a while um, if I use a small Dremel tool like me, because that's all I have, but it gets everywhere. Next, we are going to start making the scales. So you want to make a stencil of the first scale, trace it out, and then cut out a billion scales.
Once your kagune is the exact shape that you want, you can start adding the scales. Um, work your way from the top and then go to the bottom. get to paint. I started out by using a Plasti Dip to prime everything and then I just covered it with the spray paint that I wanted. And now you are done and they look so pretty. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what my back plate looked like. Uh, my uncle actually helped make this for me out of aluminum, and I made the straps that just go around my arms and my waist. Um, it's very lightweight, so you could probably use Sintra, and it worked just fine. You can also get these at a hardware store and we just, you know, made holes and put them in there and you take the, the pipe, you slip it through and then you tighten them up. And it actually holds everything very well. I, nothing has fallen off yet and this is what one looks like when you put it on.